This is going to be a demo of using an open NMT sequence to sequence model for sentence boundary detection. The primary open NMT model for sequence to sequence modeling in Argos Translate is only able to translate individual sentences. This means longer, sub longer sections of text need to be split into sentences. This is currently being done using Stanza, however Stanza has around 700 megabytes of dependencies, which causes a number of issues. When Argos Translate is packaged as a Snapcraft application, it is stored, compressed, and then extracted and mounted as a file system for security sandboxing. This makes large applications slow to start because a lot of data needs to be decompressed. Argos Translate now has experimental support for using an open NMT model and a C-Translate2 sequence-to-sequence model for sentence boundary detection. That's what is being demonstrated here. I'm now going to do a demonstration of installing Argos Translate with Snapcraft with both Stanza and um, with both Stanza and using uh, C Translate to sequence to sequence modeling um, to demonstrate the difference in start time. So this command I just run ran is going to um, as you can see remove the currently installed um, version of Argos Translate and then install a version built with Stanza and then I'm also removing Argos Translate base slangs um, so that, which is another Snapcraft package that Argos Translate can connect to um, for language support but I'm removing that to just do the packages themselves for the best comparison. Um, and then after this runs, I'm going to time it, and then um, I'm going to install it, this version which has been built without Stanza, uh, to demonstrate the improved start time. Okay, so this is the version with Stanza. Okay, so with Stanza, it took 10.8 seconds um, for Argos Translate to start. Okay. So that was 6.8 seconds, which is a 4 second improvement. So that's just the speed improvement from not having to bundle Stanza in a Snapcraft application. Thanks for watching.